Hey, Nick Maitsky. Nick Maitsky. Nick Maitsky. Mich pomwa. Ticham Kilusla. Good morning. Nich Maitsky. Jean. Nimaitsky. Remember, it's Nich. Nich Maitsky. Ni. Ni. One more time. Nich. Nich. There, now clean your screen. <laughs> That's just my, my old white hair in the way. <laughs> it's my web. Oh my gosh. Seriously? <laughs> I got to get my wig straight, man. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, you want to see a pretty flower? Yeah, let's show us a pretty flower. Okay. The hummingbird comes every day, twice a day. Can you see it? Oh, yeah. This is a, a hood in Seattle. It's my hood. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that a it's a night fuchsia. They just they they love it and they make a clicking sound because they come on the porch and make a and you can hear them before they come because they click their wings make a snapping sound oh i see and it's cool so i know they're they're out there when i'm sitting in the house so that's my story e. uh for those of you that aren't aware uh we just want to congratulate uh uh, Brosnan, Bobby, and Meadow, and uh, yeah. their cousins. That Bobby's new Indian name is uh, Tichank Ilushla. Um, let's see, and then uh, Brosnan's Indian name is Wewalatipa. Is that right? Wewalatipa. Wewalatipa. We wala litpa. Titpa. We wala titpa. Yeah, we wala titpa. Oh, yeah, we wala titpa. And again, uh, last Friday, we, uh, Bobby and Brosnan, they, they had really worked very hard to, um, um, Uh. And this translates, oops, this translates into Earth Watcher. That's Bobby's name. Oops. So that's Bobby's Indian name, Ticham uh, Kilusla, and um, Brosnan is it W I? We Walatitpa. We 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 Walatitpa, right? Yeah. We Walatitpa. We well at it, and this. What did we say that this translates into? Uh, many creeks flowing at that place. Okay.
Ros. Is it R B R O? Yeah, O S N A N. Yeah. E. Okay. Umish. And then um, Meadow is. Um, Taima Taikpam. Taima Taikpam. E. Taimat, oh wait a minute, Taimat, Taich, um, and her name means um, where the love medicine grows. So that's where you guys went. No. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Where the love medicine grows. Okay. That's the Mount Emily. Yeah. So I'll put that. Um, and this is Meadow, Meadow Fossick. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so this is Ticham uh, Kilushla. Uh, these uh, were names that um, we had to create a name for Bobby. Um, and now that he has that name, it I believe it uh, helps him feel more complete in his life. And uh, we honored Bobby. Hon Bobby honored everybody with the, all the Indian foods. We honored our creator with that, with the washing service. And uh, anyway, it was uh, it was really a great day. Um, <laughs> there was some comical points there, uh, especially when I was teasing Sass about holding that tree branch, and <laughs> she did it anyway. Yeah, Taimach Tai Pam. Then we well let it pat is. Um, Rosna's name and that actually that name um, is the actual name of Cove, Oregon too. So but she carries that name of the of that place. And I'm glad that that place is known as that. And see who else was named uh, Shuplish. Oh yeah. Shublish. Shublish Hudson. Hudson. Um, Shublish Hudson. And what would what did we say that that name translated it to? Uh, like a whirlwind. Yeah, hey, like a whirlwind. She didn't blow in and out. And this is um, Brianna. Brianna Spencer. Okay. And then, um, then Isabel's name is uh, Kumlaipam, uh, right? Hey. Uh, I'll make that a bar to I come like bum. And this translated into a big wave.
And this is Isabel. Lacorno? Yeah. Okay. Kunis chi awiwa and a ku chi chaman pachna ma pawa wanichi tanantimki and a ku and a kushnis timana and a ku pawa pawe la simi tinati chaminch. And so this is how it is, uh, how that they're named. Um, and then the way that I posted on Facebook that they're one with the land now. And when we say that one with the land that we're also known by the land, um, you know, and because, you know, the earth is, uh, you know, there's just something about, you know, the, the connection that, that we have. And a lot of times when I go to my own uh, neck of the woods to go, um, um, to go hunt and I'll in unfamiliar places that I've never been. I don't feel that connection with uh, maybe my family that I've never been there with or whatever. But when I go to places that I've been with my family, then I really have that connection, you know, like just up here in our mountains or even Mount Adams where I went with my families and stuff, root digging, huckleberry picking, hunting, or gathering uh, kunch. And so, um, but I'm glad that uh, you guys will be able to have that identity now, you know, you know, with, with the land and uh, with yourselves, you know, like whenever that you, um, like when you take things from, from the, the land that, that you talk to, you know, you talk to the land first, you know, you talk to the, the spirits and you tell them what you're doing and you're asking, you know, to take whatever, you know, and at the same time you're telling them who you are, you know. And I kind of used to, not that it was funny, but my wife would be the one telling me to do that. Because you can't just go out there and just, you know, take, uh, like, like if we was going after maybe a uh, uh, rose bush. You have to talk to that. You have to tell tell it what you're going to use it for. You can't just take it. And, and so I like, oh, you know, I wasn't aware of that. And then, then years later, our elder, uh, uh, Virginia Biebert, uh, Shish, when she was here on the Umatilla Reservation, she had uh, one of her boyfriends, um, that she was going to get married to him, but then that, that never happened. And he was a conner. And uh, they had a hurt horse, or he had a hurt horse. And so she knew of medicine to go get for it, to doctor it up. And so she had him drive her up wherever she needed to go. And then she was able to identify the medicine. And he's watching her, the way that she told the story. He goes, yeah, he stood there and watched me. And I started talking to the, to the plant in Indian and telling it what I was going to do with it and what I needed it for. I need your help. So like in that same sense of prayer that, you know, then she took that. And of course, her man, she goes, well, you're a funny woman to be talking to the to the trees or the you know the the brush or whatever. And she just told him, "Goes watch, this is going to heal your horse." <laughs> sure enough, it did. <laughs> you know, and so that's uh, uh, something that you know, like the the continued teaching that gets passed down. So that's that was great to know. Yeah. Jewy, just you there today? Or are you and Leslie? Yeah. Huh? 
How's everything up in the Spielem way? Good. Good. Cooling down. Was you playing stick, was you playing stick game? Yeah. Got your stick game fix, huh? Yeah. One, two, <clears throat> It was fun. A lot of people. Yeah. Okay. Saskatchewan, Browning, Rocky Boy. I was trying to remember that word that you told me uh, yesterday. Is it Leloinin? Leloinin? Uh huh. And that is like a, a way of saying welcome back, huh? Just welcome. Welcome. Liloini. Is that spelled spelled correct? Little glottal on the last end. Glottal? Yeah, Liloini. I'm trying to find that glotto. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Leloini. Yeah. Welcome. Okay. So the uh, <clears throat> reason I was asking uh, Dewey because we we made an announcement, uh, tentative announcement for October 9th, uh, Homeland <laughs> Gathering are well, basically saying welcome back up to uh, Wallawa on October 9th for a, a, a salmon dinner and um, some of our, uh, oh, what is it? Uh, the, the Nespers tribes enhancements and stuff. So, uh, so if you guys are able to make it down for that, um, do it be great. Uh, I know our elder wants to have live stick game. Uh, so he either wants to take your money or you can take his. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pot or pike. That's probably the same time as bear paw. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's right. And you guys go to that. Yeah. Yeah, so we probably won't really get maybe too many Nespers. Uh, too many non-treaties. Manah? Might not be that many non-treaties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Depends yeah. Though, if, they, if they close it down or not, because they, they closed up a uh, big hole. That was because of that fire, but... Who knows with these COVID cases going up? I don't know. They might not even have it. Yeah, same here. We're even though we're going to advertise this, and it, it depends if there's a bunch of cases that spike or whatever, then we'll just you know cancel. You know, like what if it's either a day or two ahead? Uh, but we do want to have a, a adult open uh, categories for men and women. Um, you know, and prize money, then drum pay, and maybe even pay the dancers, see who shows up, and so we're hoping to have a good little gathering. Mm -hmm. uh, and, Are you, you going to do it like a friendship? I want to honor one of my... Sorry. Mina? Is it going to be like a friendship? A friendship what? Is it going to be like a powwow friendship? Yeah. Dance? Yeah, the... We got. We want to try to have a, some little social games, too. The old traditional. Uh, it's very traditional. Old traditional suitcase race. <laughs> have you guys seen that one? <laughs> you know what that one is, eh? No, explain it. Um. Well, I told the ladies over there at Wallawa since they always have a yard sales and I says, I'm sure you guys have a bunch of leftover yard sale stuff says, get a great big pair of pants 
from the men and from the women, you know, in a great big top, um, you know, great big boots or, you know, just, just about four or five matching items that get placed in two suitcases and uh, either two, te two teams of three or four or just two, two to three or four. Um, and then the one has to run over, open up suitcase, put all that stuff on, run back to the other side, take all that stuff off. The other person has to put them on and then they have to run back to the suitcase, take all the stuff off, and whoever puts it in the suitcase wins. <laughs> um, our elders uh, had told us that. They said that uh, um, that it wasn't always, you know, serious war dancing and contests, you know, powwow kind of stuff. They would insert some fun games like that, and that was one of them was that suitcase race. So um, we did that here with uh, Nikawa Community School um, staff. And I had Everett White from Arizona and some other person raced against two ladies of the Nikawi School. And uh, <laughs> my Navajo friend Everett, he was all proud because he's, he, uh, he, he was ahead and he had the uh, the yarn belt on or something. Anyway, he took that wing dress off and he'd start taking it off. And somehow he got stuck in that wing dress. <laughs> he couldn't get it off over his head because of that yarn belt was still tied. He didn't untie it. <laughs> and those Seattle ladies that were for Nikawi School won. <laughs> That was the funniest highlight was uh, my partner was all proud of himself because he won. He thought they won, and then pretty soon they got stuck in that wing dress. <laughs> First time I've ever seen anybody get stuck in a wing dress. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know how we would, um, I guess, how we would say something like that. Um, 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 Yeah, we get asked that all the time, how to say welcome, and that's the most common one, Leloitnin, or Leloitnin, yeah. uh, Paitsa, Leloit Tapine, something to do with being thankful or grateful that you're here. So when we say Masawit, Masawit is... Uh, is um, implying um, oops whatever is uh, is funny um, masawit you know just um, I guess maybe masawit skew it So it'd be like um, funny games. So that would be one way that would uh, could probably you know do that. Um, you know, we used to see a lot of fun things with the uh, elders at Salila when uh, my wife would uh, organize the elder gathering at Salilo and then all this, the Warm Springs, all the different tribes had come and what was funny was they would have a toothpick and then they would have a lifesaver and it would be man, woman, man, woman. They'd have to pass that lifesaver on to each other. And um, <laughs> you would see some pretty, pretty goofy looking games. And then same with the orange, they had the tuck of orange under the neck and then pass that orange on to the next person. And um, two Atwai elders, that was uh, Ursula Little from Warm Springs. She was just short little woman. And then our tall elder that lived in Yakima, Junior Slim John, 
they were trying to pass those orange back and forth with that, you know, tucked under their neck and it looked just hilarious. <laughs> so probably, uh, you know, try to th think of some uh, games too, to uh, just to have fun. So again, I uh, just want to see if there's any, 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 um, um, any questions or any comments that anybody would like to share today. I know. I'm wondering about, um, did you guys put your dictionary online? And if so, did you use like a special program or did you hire a, like a um, person to do that or? Um, Lisa Minthorn, uh, I don't, I'm not sure if that was under the directive of our, um, our main, uh, our, our coordinator, or what if it was from the education director, it had to have came from the education director, I believe. And uh, uh, But Lisa Minthorn is the one that uh, had put in a lot of the time into compiling that, um, you know, into what it is uh, to make that, that web page and site. Um, and she's, you know, she's real... Um, uh, computer uh, savvy um, so I don't know I, I'm not sure what uh, what actual programs that she had actually used you know for that but uh, yeah it's it was uh, it took some time um, I'm not sure if there I'm not sure if, I think she may have you know consulted with me on some edits here and there but uh, most of it was already in place for for it to, you know, be what it is. And I, I reminded my Nishawi Community School students that that we have access to that. Um, <clears throat> and so I try to make it a point to to use it uh, when I can, wherever I have internet access, if I need to, you know, bring it up. Um, yeah, it's because it seemed like I, I think what prompted them, you know, our tribe to, to do that was hearing that the Nespers tribe had did that was some kind of a app, a teaching app. But, but far as I know, that's far as that is, is just at the dictionary, you know, plus all the keyboard fonts are on there too. Yeah, all the keyboard fonts for all the symbols and the letters, the accented, whatever, the hat checks, everything that's already on there. Does that answer your question a little bit? Oh, okay. Yeah, I have Lisa's um, contact and I can get a hold of her and ask her what, if she used a specific program, but um, do you know if it has sound? The audio files? Like, is it audio or is it just written, written material? It's just written. I believe it's just written. There's no audio clips, I don't okay. believe. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Good question. Can Amazon Amazon help with it? You know, I'm not sure. Um, um, that would be a, a Lisa question too. Ciao, Shasha Kwasha. Yeah. So how did the Tumite come out, Bobby Brosnan? It came out pretty good. We had some of them burn, and so that was a little bit discouraging. But uh, for the most part, they came out pretty good, and we learned a lot about what not to do for next year. So We think why um, a lot of it <clears throat> came out good, so we were happy – Ours is the ones that burnt. Ours and um, Linda's are the ones that burnt. So, and we had, Linda had multiple bags. So not all of hers burnt. And then we had like a really big bag. And so some of ours burnt and some of ours didn't burn. So 
Um, but we realized that the part where we didn't have enough mud. So the mud is supposed to cover the rocks um, and make that like that break between the fire and all the other layers. And we had mixed the mud with the, uh, you know, soil, water and pine needles. And so we had already made our mud mixture. And then when you go throw it in, it's like so fast. And when we threw in the mud, we would realize that we needed more mud, but it was just too late. And so you just got to throw it all in, you know, all the different layers. And sure enough, like where we had our bag is where the rocks weren't completely covered with mud. Um, so, mm. so, but in the bag next year, we'll probably do it where we have smaller bags too. Cause we just had like a huge bag of canvas and it was hard pulling it out because you got to pull it out fast too and try to trap the heat so that because we were canning a lot of it and throwing it into coolers from there and so um yeah our bag actually burnt some of the way and then when Bobby pulled it out it ripped too so we had some canvas like on the ground and it was like ah but um, we were able to save some of it and then some of it burnt so we learned a lot um from it but yeah at least the, at least a lot of the the visitors that came to put theirs in didn't burn so that was good some people it was their first time theirs didn't burn um my uncle oh, josh's okay. didn't burn yeah so it was a little bit of like both we got some burnt some didn't but yeah have to mix more mud next year um and yeah so Okay, good. Yeah, uh, those then Linda had some great big chunks of uh, uh, smash in there. Yeah, those cooked really well. Um, she had those ones near like the center. And so like I said, she had multiple bags and that bag didn't burn and it cooked it cooked through and we all tried it. And it tastes like wakamo at first and then it had like a real bitter linger um taste like it lingered in your mouth a real bitter taste at the end so i don't know i think it was more of like uh an experiment she wanted to see um because there's not a whole lot of info on that big one um but yeah it didn't really taste that good it, it tastes good at first and then it was just like ooh, this gets really bitter and it has like a weird taste but she went ahead and canned them though. She went ahead and canned them and put them away. So, but they were like, you know, they were like this big when it came out. So and they cooked through, mm. they're kind of, uh, almost seemed like meat. Like when you pulled, they were really fibrous when you pulled away from them to like pull a piece off and almost kind of even sticky. It was interesting. But, mm. Mm. but, uh, but, uh, the hamash that you cooked into wakamu um uh, it all has its own good taste huh yeah yeah it all it came out pretty good except the ones that were burnt were kind of charcoal -y. <laughs> those ones yeah. those ones were definitely burnt but <laughs> but the rest of it came out good most of it came out really good so when our bag ripped they all got coated in ash and soil but then you have to can them real fast, so we'll have to rinse them before we eat them. Yeah, I don't know if we'll be passing oh. them out like last year, but we'll probably just rinse them, and then we can we can cook them from there. Probably put them in a stew, the ones that got a little bit overcooked, and then um, go from there. But the ones that are charcoal black, though, I don't know. We still have them, but I don't know what we'll do with them yet. Oh, come on, yeah. Yeah, that. Uh, yeah, sorry, and they were, it was able to stick around or, or come back up to wash that. But um, glad you guys do that. Um, any other projects coming up? Uh, we're gonna have our high tanning camp in uh, March. March. Uh, that's the next big one, and we'll probably do five or six hides at the most, and that'll be our next our next camp. It'll be here at the Ascension okay. School, so. Okay, like 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 last year. 
Yeah, yeah. we're going to, our intention is to continue to do the Hyde camp and the Camus camp every year. So mm, those will be our good. main ones we'll focus on. Yeah, Dewey and uh, Leslie, if you guys ever get a chance uh, over in Cove, uh, we wail a little we wail a little we wail a little is where they're we wail a little we wail a little yeah there is uh, uh, it's you go past La Grande like you're gonna go to Wallawa but you you go straight ahead once you get into uh, Island City and there's a little drive out there base of the mountain there's that little place and that's where they have their camp the white plumes were there, uh, just, uh, what's his name, Red Moon or Two Moons? Uh, yeah, Red Wing. Red Wing, Two Red Moons. Red Wing, Two Moons. And AJ. Him and his wife, AJ. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, Lee's wife, uh, Mona. Mm -hmm. Mona White Plume. Yeah, they were there. And some of their children and grandkids. So it was, a, it was good to have, see them. I hadn't seen them for quite some time, and I believe they're the ones that got married in uh, the longhouse over at the Tumkalik Celebration Grounds. Yeah. Well, I, I got to jump um, into a, a, a class uh, right after this on Thursdays. Um, so I'll go for a few more minutes here, and then I'll get ready for that next class. Um, and again, Let's see what I got on my, don't have a lot, but uh, anyway, here's the, the list of the names. Yeah, Jonathan's on vacation for this week, and I'm not sure, if, um, um, but my wife and I were scheduled to sell fried bread, and uh, we're you know, hoping for the best. And there's going to be a Saturday morning. There's going to be a, a small giveaway uh, on Atoy Uncle Jones at the grounds before the parade. They're going to put, I think, a four-pole skeleton. But um, the I think the family wants to... Uh, the reason they're having their little release giveaway is because of the war bonnet that they're going to show... Um, on his behalf as he was a big part of the Pendleton Roundup for many years. Um, but the main memorial, I believe, is uh, December 18th, Umatilla Tribal Longhouse. And I believe that is when probably uh, Buck, he's known as Jesse Jones III, is going to uh, receive his dad's war bonnet. So anyway, just putting that uh, ahead out there and uh, so I'm sure there'll be a lot of people there for that, as well as, uh, you know, even on Saturday morning. So I'm going to try to hustle through that. They're going to, Thomas morning. I was going to smudge first thing in the morning, the grounds, um, where everybody steps at the teepee. So, Nick Chit Queen, this, uh, Kusanawa Shamatash and the Kuancha Pompeish and Kicks Chiao, uh, subsequent. So thank you guys again for showing up. And so we'll probably see you in two weeks, the week after Roundup. So if you happen to be around, take a chance to come around, come check out a Fred bread stand. Big Fred fluffy bread. Fred bread. Fred bread. <laughs> 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 yeah. One time I did a misspell on my sign. It's, I forgot to put the I in there, fried. I put Fred bread. <laughs> I, I would like a Fred bread, please. And people could come and buy it and it goes, what? If that's what your sign says, Fred bread. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Give you a Fred bread. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, Dewey. Well, Leslie, um, well, glad, to, glad you guys could uh, appear again. And so we'll see you guys soon enough. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's yeah, yeah. Uh, Jean, thank you for showing us your flowers of your your hummingbird. Quite next left. time, next time we want to see the hummingbird. 
Mom, come on, Mr. Lee. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll work on that. Yeah. Eo, Annie. Eo. 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 Mercedes. So you got to see the uh, dictionary, huh, Mercedes? Hey. Are you Yeah. Yeah.